Hello everyone, in today's tech tip, we're gonna be outlining the differences between Microsoft 365 Business Basic, Business Standard, and Business Premium. Let's start off with Microsoft 365 Business Basic. This subscription is pretty straightforward. It includes your email, OneDrive, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and it includes the Office products, but only the web version, not the actual desktop applications. So if you need to use Word or Excel, PowerPoint, it's gonna be in the web versions, not the you know, desktop ones that you may be a little more used to. Next up is Microsoft 365 Business Standard. So Business Standard comes with everything that Business Basic comes with, but it also includes the latest Office products. So this is super nice because you're always up to date as these Office products come out, and they make updates very often. Last but most certainly not least is Microsoft 365 Business Premium. This subscription is kind of like the gold standard for businesses between one user and 300 users. This has so many additional security features than the other business licenses. For instance, data loss prevention. So you can put rules around things like credit cards, social security numbers, etc., so they don't accidentally get sent out in an email or saved in a document that they shouldn't. So data loss prevention is a really nice feature. It also includes encryption for emails. So you can send out encrypted emails and that is only going to be received by the person it's intended to. So that's another really nice feature of Business Premium. Now, one of the features that does not get a lot of attention but really should is called conditional access. Now, what conditional access does is it puts parameters around when and who can access your data and your business information. Here's an example. You may only want people to log into their SharePoint Teams email within a 50 mile or 100 mile radius, radius of your office. So what that's gonna do is can prevent people from other countries trying to log in to your SharePoint and get your data, from other states even. So that's just one example of conditional access. Another one that we see often is, hey, I only want people to access these sensitive uh, folders in the SharePoint from let's say 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. What we know is that most data breaches occur after hours. So if you're limiting information, being able to log in to those times, well, you're pretty much eliminating a lot of potential breaches. So these types of parameters around your data is a super nice security feature and comes for free within Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Another nice feature is called Intune. Intune helps you to manage all of these different devices that you have, whether it be your desktops, it even does Mac OS, Android, iOS. So it helps to manage all these devices. For instance, let's say you have a user that likes to use their personal phone to access company information. You may allow them to access their Outlook, for instance, but maybe you're saying, no, on personal phones, no access to SharePoint, no access to Teams, or limited access. So that's a really nice functionality that you have within Business Premium. Another good option about Intune is you can say, hey, I want to roll out encryption for all of my uh, computers and laptops that we manage. In addition, I may need to remote wipe this computer if it got lost. So it just helps for device management, something that is becoming more and more important as more people work remote and out of the office. As you can see, Microsoft 365 fills a lot of needs within an organization. Whether it's basic, standard, or business premium, there's a subscription for everybody. Business Premium obviously provides a lot more when it comes to security of your data and ideal for customers moving to the cloud. But Business Basic and Business Standard are still great subscriptions that are used all the time. If you have any questions about Microsoft 365, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help.